Hi, hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I want to bring you guys some updates with the summoner character that I talked about in a previous video. And I've done quite a few changes to this character. I've messed around with animate weapon. I've messed around with uh, some, not summon raging spirits. I've played around with skeletal warriors. I've played around with uh, zombies. And I've personally found out this setup to be my favorite as of right now. So I'm currently running with three wickerman specters uh, and a six off-color crude bow with my spectral spirits. So basically this is a specter slash spectral spirits build uh, and just to go over the links very quickly I'm using a damage on full life melee physical ruthless multi-strike melee splash minion damage uh, and that's for the spectral spirits. For the uh, wickerman we've got minion damage raise specter ink aoe ellie focus and burn damage. I don't know what the six link's gonna be. It's maybe controlled destruction or minion and totem elemental resistance chance to ignite. I haven't really figured it out. Helmet, we've got flesh offering, desecrate, faster casting, increased duration. Uh, boots, we've got GMP, curse on hit, temp chains, ball lightning. Gloves, we've got generosity, hatred, and then separate discipline, purity of elements. And then we also have blink arrow in unset one and vault discipline in unset two. We're rocking 8.1k ES. There's a little uh, showcase of the passive tree. We should be able to get 9k ES, probably more, uh, with like some jewels. I have to grab Flask Effect, and this character is currently level 82. So, let's go ahead and jump on into a shaped dunes so I can show you guys how the map works, or how this works. So the most important thing for this build is you have to have a bow. Um, with Spectral Spirits, which is through the Essence of Insanity. You don't have to have these exact links. I don't even know if these are the best links, to be honest. It's very difficult to try to figure this stuff out because there's no like calculators in-game. Um, but this is what we're running with right now. Let's get it started! One cool thing to note is that these uh, little Spectral Spirit dudes are 100% invulnerable. Um, I don't even think they get targeted. Oh, I don't know how I... How do I do against Porcupines with this build? Oh, oh my. Okay, they're kind of spooky. Please don't be porcupines, because I don't want to die right now. So I'm currently using a Vis Mortis as my chess piece, and I've been playing around between Vis Mortis and... I don't actually remember what the fuck the other one's called. I can show you guys after this map if I don't rip in it, because uh, this is not a very good porcupine map to run. <laughs> oh yeah, but I'll show you guys the chess piece after when I go back to town. Basically, there's two different chess pieces you can use for this build. You can use one that gives you essentially uh, fortify for elemental damage, and there's this one which you can use which is good for basically a uh, single target and just pretty much damage overall. Okay, let's just swap in Maim instead of Melee Splash because we're at the boss. Or actually, are we even at the boss? I don't even think I'm at the Oh, there's the boss. Okay. Here we go. So here we've got the three Spectral Spirits along with the three Wicker Men for single target. And they're doing pretty good. The really cool thing about this build that's honestly making me enjoy it is that you have infinite sustain with this character. Uh, since we're using Soul Strike and two rings, uh, two rings with faster start of ES recharge, our recharge for our ES comes back in like, I'm pretty sure like, I don't know, a second and a half, probably less than that. Uh, you'll see here in a second when I get hit by the porcupines. And despite our lack of pretty much everything, we're still a little bit defensive with our character. We're grabbing Flask Effect next. Uh, or at least in some of the the next couple levels. And we're currently at 15k evasion. We also run a basalt flask and a granite. So we have a little bit of mitigation towards uh, towards damage. It's not just like 8k raw ES with no defenses. Is this hatred level up? Nice. The clear is not super fast. Um, but it's a very fun passive playstyle. So I don't really mind it at all. I kind of really enjoy it, actually. One cool thing about these little SRS guys is they have charge. Uh, on top of charge, I've, their AI works different than normal SRS. They actually respond to Convocation, so you can pull them with Convocation, which is pretty cool. And they have, like, I think they have old-school shield charge. 
because their charge seems to like stun things 100% of the time. I've seen them stun bosses. It's not long, it's like a fraction of a second, but it's enough to see like the little days pop up, which is pretty interesting to think of. Not that it's like gonna do anything good, but it's pretty cool to just see them bounce between the screen, dude. Alright, now that we've finished our 14 minute map clear, let's explain the rest of the build. So, um, one thing about this build that you really need to get going with it is you do have to have some type of weapon that's crafted with Spectral Spirits, which would be with your Essence of Insanity. Uh, I think the minimum level requirement for this is 50 because of the Essence requirement in general. Now, with your Spectres, uh, since your Spectres are going to be majority of your AoE clear, well, actually, I guess the Spectral Spirits are pretty good too, but I would highly recommend getting an Uber Lab Rush or completing Uber Lab as soon as possible because Soul Weaver makes a really big difference when it comes to keeping your Spectres alive and just on top of increasing their damage. Since Wickermen are so tanky, you're able to use stuff like Vis Mortis, and there's virtually almost no chance of them ever dying unless you're maybe running, you know, red tier maps with three damage mods and you run into a shrine with nine discharge mobs or something like that. Um, but for the most part, you don't ever really have to worry about the Wickerman, which is really nice. Same thing with the Spectral Spirits. They're out forever. You don't ever have to worry about them, which is pretty cool as well. I would highly recommend Essence Crafting two unset rings with um, Minion Speed. Minion Speed goes a very long way in pretty much any summoner build that you get. Um, definitely go for a Bone Helmet. I don't really know the best way to craft these. Um, you can see here, mine only gives 172 Energy Shield, but it does have a 32 ES roll, but I feel we've got some room to improve this. Uh, and then Baited Breath is a really good belt because of the Energy Shield Recharge that you get, which you can see located right here. Um, and this ES Recharge comes back very, very quickly because we have things like Soul Strike and two... Uh, rings with faster energy recharge and you can do that with your Leo craft located pretty much right here So anyway, that's pretty much about it If you guys have any questions feel free to drop them in the comments below This was the other chess piece I was talking about which is the incandescent heart um, I'll make some more updates to this character if I plan on playing it Otherwise, I'll just keep it right here I didn't really like this character too much and like while I was messing around with a bunch of different options But I'm actually really liking this current setup It may seem very limited because you're not using like SRS and you're not using like animate weapon and you just have three spirits But honestly, it's enough to the point where there's not so much shit on your screen cluttering everything and you can still kind of have an enjoyable mix So I like it. But anyway, hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves Remember, if you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Take it easy, boys.